Joining us from Toulon in France is Bakis Boerta, the uh, the Springbok and Vodacom Bulls and Blue Bulls stalwart, part of the heartbeat of the scrum, and now things have changed in Pretoria. Bakis is in Toulon, Victor's in the Super Sport Studios all his life, and a whole lot of guys have moved all over. Fareed's moved on as well, and we're looking at Bakis Boerta right now. Bakis, uh, hello and welcome to Balls Visual Radio. Thank you very much, Darren. It's nice to spend a little of time with the people back home, and it's good to talk to you tonight. I know the people are very happy to see you. There is a lot of understanding that we are happy to talk to you today, and you can also see how the people can see how the people are there for a few months and for a few weeks in France. Yeah, yeah. Are you doing well? Are you settling in there? Is, is, is it strange? Are you feeling homesick? Yeah, yeah. Is it strange? Are you feeling homesick? <laughs> no, no, Darren. Uh, definitely, I think the the first four months. I'm I'm going now for six months. I've been here since first of November, going going to uh, six months now. But everything's going fine. Uh, yes, it's it's amazing. I think uh, the biggest thing for me is uh, the culture, the the way the French people is doing stuff, and the way they're coaching, and uh, new uh, a lot of new stuff I learned. But uh, I'm getting getting by by all. Stuff and, and driving on the right hand side of the road, <laughs> and uh, but like I said earlier, I think the, the the difficult part of 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 playing here is to understand the people and and the language barrier. That's the the biggest uh, 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 the challenge for me as, as as a South African to to learn the language and then communicate more to the people here. Because they they say the French don't really uh, care one way or the other about uh, what other people think of them. They get on with their own lives. Uh, you're a you're a gentle giant. You you're a very kind of person that likes 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 to worry about what other people feel like. So how are you dealing with the French people? Yeah, no, definitely, uh, uh, especially uh, in Toulon, a place like Toulon, and and, and uh, be around and, and playing. At uh, Stade Mayol, the stadium where we used to play our home games, it's amazing uh, the the atmosphere around Toulon and uh, the support behind the RCT club. It's, it's amazing. But uh, like I said, I'm doing a lot of effort uh, on the French uh, French side, the language. I'm picking up a lot of words, especially when when the French people talk. I can quite understand uh, more when they talk to me. But no. please don't ask me to talk back to them in sentences. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so struggling. But uh, luckily, I, I, I quite understand if they talk to me, what they try to tell me. And uh, and then uh, I, I try to uh, uh, talk back to them in, in a few words. But they, they, they quite understand and they've got a lot of... Uh, 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 love for the for the for the Toulon players and got a lot of time for the guys and it's amazing to be here. I think it's it's a it's a new venture for me and it's it's just good to be here. Now that's amazing because uh, we're having done French at school. I uh, when I when I've travelled to France and Paris a couple of times, maybe it's a Paris thing versus Toulon, but I found it the other way around that they talk so fast you can't understand what they're saying. Um, but I've managed to get by with the little bit of French I've got in there, and they're quite willing, and you know they understand what I'm saying when when I go through with my 25 French words that I know. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, Darren. Uh, it's exactly what you say. Uh, I, I, I can I can sit in a conversation uh, with some French people and pick up words, but uh, uh, as soon as uh, some some guys have a few wines in, they start to pick up the pace. Uh, in the conversation, and as soon as they keep up the pace uh, in the French language, then I then I then I lose them completely. And exactly what you say, uh, when when the people talk to me, they they, they know I'm I'm from South Africa and I'm here at RCT. They 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 uh, doing a lot of effort from their side to 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 uh, talk French uh, to me, but uh, very slow. And in that way, I can more understand them and more com- can communicate to them. But definitely, it's like you said, as soon as they talk to uh, another French guy or somebody in, in, in Toulon or France, they talk so quick to each other, I can't uh, understand a word. But uh, then uh, I just uh, turn around and uh, 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 the, the secret word always is, is avoir. And avoir means uh, uh, good, uh, have a nice day and uh, cheers. And then I go. Yeah, that's it. I've had enough. I'm moving on. All right. And you say that uh, they love the guys in Toulon, the, the rugby players, the Toulon players. Is is uh, you've, you've now have an opportunity to have a look at the kind of passion that rugby in France has versus the passion that rugby in South Africa, and particularly in Pretoria, where you spent all your uh, all your career. 
is it is it does it rank anything near the kind of rugby passion the passi wat le pretoria for the uh, spelers to say it <coughs> yeah Darren, definitely i think it's um it's definitely more more the same uh, it's it's like uh, when when you're driving around in pretoria and, and look at all the blue bull supporters and everything but i think in Toulon it's it's a, it's a very uh, a, a tight community, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, a community and a lot of people just uh, in the streets and they're so fanatic and and we in the, uh, the, the club that we're in, uh, in Toulon, it's, it's uh, all the cars that we, 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 we uh, receive from the club to drive around, it's all branded on it. So uh, the people is just going fanatic when they see this uh, uh, RCT car in the, in the road or uh, Standing at the shopping mall or something like that, it's it's, it's quite uh, uh, a lot of passion that the people is just uh, giving it to RCT. But uh, when you get at Mayo and, and 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 see all the people, and every weekend it's not a big stadium. It's uh, I think it's twelve or thirteen thousand people that can take it. But uh, it's definitely fanatic. And but the the surprising and new thing for me was when when we normally uh, score more than three tries and it's more or less for the supporters uh, walk over for the for the team that visiting Toulon then they then they start throwing the newspapers in the air and it's just fanatic how the papers is flying in the air and it, it was the first time I saw it it was quite a amazing uh, thing to see it's just uh, the way that people show their gratitude for for, for the team mm. that uh, p- performing so well and putting a good score onto the board but uh, it's amazing and like I said it's a, it's a new uh, thing for me in my life to be uh, the first five six months um, I definitely uh, d- uh, found my feet here in, in France, but uh, still uh, two or three stuff that must, uh, must be sorted out. But uh, I'm quite happy where I am. I'm happy with my condition and everything. I'm, I'm over my injury from the World Cup, and I'm just happy to 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 get me still on the pitch. Yeah, you're looking yeah. good. You're looking well. It's a nice thing about visual radio. We can actually see you as well while we chat to you, which is fantastic. And it's good to see that you're looking well. Uh, are you are you are you hurting people there? Or are you kind of it's a shame. It's the French. It's not. Uh, it's not province or the sharks. So, do you hold back a little bit yeah. when you when you get on the field? No, I've no, Darren. You, you know me. Uh, <laughs> soon as I put my my my, my uh, no, but, uh, thirteen shoe over the white chalk, yep. it's all guns blazing. Eh? That's so, fantastic uh, to hear. Uh, that's uh, that's how we do it in France. Uh, I must say, it's it's a uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, physical. And uh, some uh, some guys getting stuck into. Uh, we just played this weekend. Uh, Brief. We played against Racing Metro Franci and all the guys. So it's it's nice, but uh, it's my type of game, uh, the physical side of, of of the rugby. And definitely, I'm enjoying it. Uh, but like I said, as long as I I can uh, throw my body around on the pitch, I'm quite happy. Fantastic. Well, a couple more for you. Uh, one of them is. Uh, first of all, just on the uh, on, on on the future for you, uh, as uh, Heineke obviously must be over the moon that Heineke is the Springbok coach. I mean, is Springbok rugby still very much in in your equation? Are you still very much hoping to run out in the green and gold, even though you're playing over there in France now? There there has been a lot said about the fact that they they will be looking overseas to 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 you know look at a couple of players to bring in. Uh, you're still young enough to play for the Springboks. You've got a lot to offer. Has has Heineke even chatted to you yet and, and given you an idea without giving too much away? Oh, no, Darren, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. At this stage, uh, it's definitely still a dream for me to to play a few tests for, for the Springboks. But uh, like I said, uh, I discussed this whole decision that I took uh, uh, to come over here in France uh, with my wife and everything. And we made this decision. Uh, I, I truly... Uh, knew that uh, it's uh, the percentage to play for the Springboks is going to be more or less mm. uh, uh, to, to, to run out in the green and gold uh, if I'm going to put my career in France and uh, definitely but it's it's still a dream for me to play a few tests in, in the green and gold and I, and I truly believe that I can still offer a lot to the Springboks uh, but uh, like I said uh, I made this decision so uh, if if the, if the phone call comes, I'll be definitely on the on the plane back to 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 give my part uh, for the box. And uh, if I don't get the phone call, I'm quite happy. I'm, and at this stage, I'm quite blessed to still playing rugby, and that's that's what I'm uh, uh, doing at this stage. Uh, I'm I'm quite blessed to stand up every morning, uh, taking my kit bag and go to training. 
And as long as I can do that, I'm happy. My wife and my kids is, is going they, they is, is well, going well with them. So I'm quite happy, but definitely uh, it will it will be a, 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 a what do you call it? it? Will be a big thing for me if I can get a phone call maybe uh, to, to to go back and play a, a few more tests and then uh, uh, come back and then finish my career. Yeah, and uh, obviously you know what's going on over here. So suddenly we've seen a whole lot of yeah. As soon as you and Victor sort of move on. Only guys like yeah. Jean-Dre Creer and like young Etzebet from province. Yeah, and Etzebet and uh, Elstad. Yeah, 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 no, yes, Darren, it's amazing. What's going on? See the, see the young young guns, eh? It's it's amazing. Uh, uh, but the one thing that I that I uh, still uh, struggle to get over with is is the way leg jerseys of the Bulls, the pink jerseys. This bad sneak pink is uh, pink or purple or what do you want to call it, but uh, I think it's, it's it's a new sponsor, the Pumas. But uh, the, the guys did well in in, in Newlands. Uh, mm. They didn't make it at the end, but it was a good uh, game, and it's just good to see the guys and especially the young guns. And it just shows you what uh, uh, a competition like the Varsity Cups bring bring to the youngsters. Eh? Yeah. Yes, a few of the guys just played uh, one or two years. It's a bit in the and the, the Elstads, uh, yeah, they played. Uh, just one or two years ago in the Varsity Cup, and they're so young, it's, but it's amazing, and it's good uh, for South African rugby and 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 the, and the whole uh, structure because uh, definitely the, the the capacity and the and the what do you call it the tempo that rugby has been playing uh, playing this this last couple of months is amazing. I'm just looking at the Super 15, the tempo the guys are putting the bodies on the line is amazing. Eh? And then it's good to have youngsters coming through, uh, and, it, and it's it's just wonderful to see them. And then hopefully they you know, they can make a difference and and and, and have a good career uh, in rugby. Now I just I've got to ask you: uh, Did they send you a pink jersey? No, not at all, Darren. Not if, at all. Uh, if we <laughs> sent if we sent a pink jersey in your size, because I'm just thinking, I didn't even think about this, but. Would, I, mean, I don't know anyone that would actually even dream of seeing Bucky's Buerta wearing a pink jersey. That would be crazy. Yeah. Uh, if, if we sent no, one over does. to you, would you would, next time we chat at you, would you do a, a chat wearing, a, wearing the Bulls pink jersey for us? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll consider that, uh, Darren. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big thing for me to see the Bulls in pink. But uh, <laughs> like I said, time, time go, go, goes on and the new sponsors coming on, like Puma. Yeah. I think that was one of the stuff they said, the white jerseys. But it's all about marketing and everything. But uh, uh, I don't even have a pink uh, T-shirt in my, in my, in my cupboard. So I, don't, I, I, yeah, think, uh, thought so. I think Victor will definitely love the pink. Well, he, too, he got the Bullard guys into pink when he, when he yeah, bought some shares no, there, wasn't that's, that's what I'm saying. I think Victor has got already a pink uh, a Bulls jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, maybe what we'll do is we'll get one organized to send over to you then, and uh, we'll have a chat to you one day. I'll tell you what, to get you into that jersey, pick a charity, and we'll put the money into the charity just to get you to do that. How's that? No problem, there. No problem. Bucky's one final thing we want to ask you to do before we let you go, and thank you for your time. We know it's, uh, it's while we're talking to you, it's late evening in... Uh, in, in, in France, in Toulon already. Beautiful, just before, just as you get onto the Côte d'Azur as well. Beautiful part of, of France. And uh, I'm sure you're going to be traveling around that coast and having a look at, uh, at, uh, at some of the beautiful spots there. Um, is it possible you could just do a little quick whip around uh, your, 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 your premises there, your, your Pondoki, Valle d'Arble in Toulon, and Netsubiki Weiss for uns, what alles da is? No problem, no problem. Do a little guided tour of your crib. Okay, you must just. Okay, here, we, here go. we go. Okay, so just tell us where, what, maybe some of the Buerta family might be sitting around there as well. If you no, no, my kids is uh, outside. They're okay. playing. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk up the the stairs. It's, uh, luckily, it's a it's a it's a big uh, house because I asked this guys uh, don't put me in a in a matchy box. <laughs> so they. Uh, so where's this now? Your study? Where you chatting to us at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I just walked out of my study. Uh, I'm walking up to the front door now. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm opening the door now. I'm I think you must just turn, turn the laptop around because we're just seeing you. Okay. So just swivel it around and we can have a look at... Ah, there we go. Wow, what a beautiful There's spot. There's my kids. Okay. There's my kids on top, a little playground there. Lovely. 
and my wife keeps on playing outside. Fantastic. And this is the vehicles that we've got sponsored by the club. You can see it's all brown, uh, branded. All right, there we go. Now we see what you're talking about there, yeah. Awesome. RC, RCT. So I'm the only only guy yeah. in Toulon that drives a 4x4 on my rock, <laughs> double gap, because it's difficult to... Uh, to park in France, it's yeah. uh, it's a big vehicle. It's a big that. vehicle, and uh, so there's my four by four. You don't get those in South Africa. I've never seen one of those before. No, they they are in in, in South Africa, oh, Darren, okay. but uh, in France not that much. And now I'm walking around the house. There's my house. You can see there, there at the back. Me. Okay, nice. The front door. Beautiful. Lovely. The front door. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. You look like you're on the edge of some kind of mountain or high up in the hills. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah. We're onto the mountains. All right, there we go. Now we can see the view yeah. over the mountains. That is very beautiful, a beautiful spot. Yeah. No, it's beautiful, Darren. And I'm, uh, like I said, it's nice and quiet and everything is sorted here. Kids are happy. My wife's happy. That's brilliant. And that's me in France, eh? Awesome stuff. Well, Bucky's, we really appreciate your time. We appreciate the uh, the guided tour as well, so we can now get an indication of what the our uh, heroes live like when they go overseas and play rugby in places like France. But uh, enjoy Toulon. Very nice catching up with you. And stay good, as a for all daar, all the other South Africans, and say thank you for the vrouw and the kinders that will so much of your time for us given so that we can talk with you. Nee, is recht daarin, dan praat ons weer as ek hy pink truikie kry, dan is ons weer op die licht. Daar sê, ons sal het doen. Baie dankie, bakkies, lekker blij, hoor. Groeter af, allemaal hoor, mooi blij, lekker avond. Bye bye, jy ook, bye bye.